Hello, I hope you're having an amazing start to the year. Very excited to go over uh, some of the changes that have come uh, to fruition in January of 2022 uh, and uh, really open up so many possibilities for what you can do with, uh, with Speed. Now, I'm gonna do a little screen share in a second, but before, just a couple, I think, important things that, that make an impact on you if you're a Speak user today or if you're interested in. One of those is that we actually dropped our uh, transcription and analysis costs. So previously, we had a cost up to 25 cents per minute. We thought, you know, one of the barriers that's creating this is uh, the cost per minute. The, the truth is, you get value, we create value. The more media that's in the system, the more analysis that can be done, uh, the more you know we can train the system together to fulfill your needs. And so by dropping that cost up to you know, 60% for most people who are using Speak, um, it really allows you to upload more media, put more in and start to uh, extract more value, extract more insight. So very excited about that. The other one is a uh, different as well too, which was sort of a, a decision to like change change the way we're doing things a little bit. And I'll pull up the screen here, and that is the idea to allow you to create personalized plans. And what we found is that there are people coming in to speak. They're using uh, the, the system for different reasons or need different features, one of them being maybe the embeddable recorder. That's the big driver of adoption. Or someone else is using it for text analysis, where someone else is using it for audio and video. And instead of... Uh, you know, having these fully standardized plans, nice pop-up, nice advertisement, uh, then we allowed you to sort of say what you need in terms of hours, in terms of team members, what you're using Speak for, and we come and actually build that plan together with you. And instead of uh, it just being this sort of self-serve SaaS, which of course has so much value for you, has value for us, really building this as a relationship. So very excited about that and also excited to see adoption of that in uh, January 2022 and uh, a bunch of new... Uh, uh, people in the Speak community who are, are using Speak all the time now. So thank you very much for that. A uh, couple other things. Uh, very exciting um, announcement here, and that's what I'm going to walk through and sort of demo today, is this shareable media. And I will share the link. Uh, you can see it right here. And basically the idea and the, and the question that we got was, I've got all this media, I'm dumping it into Speak. It's, it's, it, the analysis is really valuable, but I want people to engage with this repository of media, the insights that are pos you know, continuously being generated. So how can I, without forcing someone to become a Speak user, share that out? And that really became the push for us to then produce what is now the shareable media library and excited to walk through that today. Um, you can check out this uh, dedicated page and um, hope to share a lot more uh, with you as we go. Now, stop talking about that stuff and I'll move on to the actual walkthrough of the changes within Speak. Uh, you can see that here now, um, logging into the dashboard. Let's get to the exciting stuff. And uh, by exciting stuff, this might be to the dedicated Speak users, but uh, you know, it's been a much requested feature and really the idea here was folders. How can we organize? How can we secure? How can we share media in a, in a better way? How can we compare one folder to another folder? These were the questions that we were constantly getting asked. And so we really worked hard to build the functionality of folders, but what that unlocked is the shareable media library. So um, with this, uh, you can you know add new folders, you can assign it to team members. So anyone who's subscribed to that folder, any media that gets dumped into it automatically populates. You can edit it, you can manage it, you can uh, make changes, you can share it, whatever. By default, everything is shared into an, ass an assigned folder and then you can um, you can automatically then adjust that or put it into where you want it to go. And that includes on a specific upload. So say I go here, I've got the, you know, unassigned by default. Now I can drop it, say I want it to go. It's a video, all video files. It's automatically gonna upload, transcribe, analyze, and then go to that uh, specific folder. But what is more exciting, not more exciting, but the really exciting part here is this idea of the shareable media library and what this um, unlocks. So now that we've got it in a, um, a folder, we've got edit folder, delete folder, we can export, you say you want to export all the Word docs or you know SRT files, some insights uh, at once, you can do that very easily. So that focus on efficiency continues to increase. But what I really wanted to demo today is this idea of um, sharing. And so I've got this one generated already, but I'll show you a, a couple pieces here. I click share, and now I have the ability to generate an iframe, and I also have the ability to create um, a page. And what's happening is I can pop open this page. It's gonna, by default, ask me for a little password, and I'm gonna share this link with you, so no worries about that. And I'm gonna drop that in. I'm gonna hit access. And 
what is happening is now all the all the files that are in this folder, and in this case, it's specifically all the Office Hours episodes that I've ever recorded, and we were very glad to cross this 50 uh, episode mark uh, in, uh, in, in just this month, are now being dropped into this dashboard. And you can see that this becomes an accessible link that you can share with anyone without them having to sign up for Speak. And all of a sudden, I have not just some automatic visualizations that are being produced, but I have sentences that are shown with sentiment. I can jump to those exact moments. I can search through any file name. I can search through any word or any phrase, and I can also filter by media type. I can filter by insight category, and I can filter by time range. So, so say I go month to date, and then I go, um, you know, let's pick, uh, you know, brands. I can apply that uh, and, oh, because I'm in a new month. Come on, Tyler. Let's go year to date then. That makes sense. I can now see all the um, files that have been added in uh, into Speak uh, in January, um, specifically around these office hours. And what's really cool is it retains the creation date. So I can see the first one, uh, first office hours were January 7th. I think we took one week break. The second one was January 22nd, and then the other was 28th. You get an overall idea of what sentiment is there. You get a more of a bar chart visualization of, uh, of it. And then you can also see the top mentions of brands throughout. So what's very cool is this is all completely clickable. So if I hop into Google, it's going to allow me to drop down. I can see the exact sentence um, uh, that Google has mentioned, and then I can go to that moment. So automatically, it's going to... This is almost Google or... Beautiful. So, uh, you know, this is just a small sample of just a couple assets uh, that we're in from a specific month, but this allows you to navigate through hundreds, if not thousands of hours uh, of media. And same thing with text. You could have, uh, you know, we've, we've seen people upload 12,000 notes at once and then use this system to automatically visualize, find patterns and understand what's took place in all their media. So very cool from a, sort of a, a filtering perspective, allowing you to find what you were looking, you know, what you've been talking about, what you've been discussing getting some sentiment and then jumping to that exact moment. And just to go maybe uh, to see with the text here, I can also see the same thing and filter and go, okay, here's text. Um, now, what is this useful for? Uh, I think this is uh, a very interesting um, piece here, um, which is, one second here, I'll go back to all, just so we make sure that we get some results. Um, we're seeing a couple of use cases of this. One is people who are creators. They're actually taking podcasts, YouTube libraries, uh, videos that they're creating, dumping it into folders within Speak and then generating this shareable media link. Really cool use case that we've seen come out of this has been research firms who are um, trying to flip the script on the deliverables that they have with their customers. So instead of um, just you know doing a project now and then, they're actually sourcing interviews or sourcing third-party data like apps, app reviews, things like that, dumping it into a folder and speak and then generating this link and then allowing their client to interact with this data. So it creates this ongoing valuable relationship with that customer. You can sync this so every time more information is added into the folder, it automatically updates in this dashboard and it becomes this strong relationship builder. And what we're really happy with is that you can completely custom brand it. So if I go back to that folder, uh, I can see here, I can uh, edit the, I can go back to share. And I, I was looking for a logo. This is uh, the uh, Burning Man uh, group that I'm part of. Uh, shout out, uh, Camp Majestic. I can pop this open and now you can see that Camp Majestic logo is there. If I said, you know, I'm feeling a little bit more red today, I can also, automatically generate that in red. So all the visualizations are then reflected. Everything is automatically updated and completely branded. And we've gone as far as changing fonts. We've gone as far as embedding it on people's domains. So it's not even sitting on speakai.co. Really the possibilities are endless here. We're continuing to unlock the uh, you know different configurations of dashboards to unlock the insights that you're looking for, allowing people to download the visualization so I can easily save it as a PNG, and I can do so much with this information. So um, very excited about that. Our work here is to continue to help people unlock insights from language, make this more accessible than ever. Let people who are not necessarily you know crazy non you know technical developers and data scientists and firms. 
um, be the ones who get access to information in this way. So much value, so much meaning that we can find in our data sets of media, in our, our language assets, in our interviews, our customer research. Um, and really our goal here is to give you the most accessible way of generating that on an ongoing basis. So you can learn, you can grow, whether personally, professionally, unlock this intelligence from that language, from that communication. And uh, you know, our goal here for everyone who's part of the Speak community is make every year better. So I hope that uh, covers some of the changes. Very excited about all of it. And uh, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you're thinking about, around this or you, you see the potential, you want to customize it more, or you just want to start using it in its current form today, send us a message. We'd love to see this uh, go and uh, very grateful for all your support. Thank you so much.